Right, so of course, this past week I've been covering a bunch of iPad news and so for a change, let's shift our focus back to the Apple Silicon Max coming out in 2021. So of course you might know by now that Apple is planning to schedule a virtual March event for the 16th. And we've heard a bunch about what to expect from this event. In fact, I've covered it in detail in a separate video, which you can check out in the iCard above. But as a recap, we should see, of course, the iPad Pros, the next budget iPad, the next iPad mini, Apple TV, and maybe even AirTags. Though, to be honest, that also seems unlikely because I guess we'll just never see AirTags ever. Like, it's just going to end up being one of those products that Apple never releases. <coughs> AirPower. Anyways, enough of the AirTags tantrum. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that most of these products we expect in March are pretty minor refreshes to begin the year off. And so I kind of assumed that we'll see the Max later on in the year. But as of late, we have been hearing some reports and murmurs about potential Max at this event, including a 16 inch MacBook Pro. And so today I thought I'd compile every potential Mac that we could see announced at this event, just so you guys are ready. And yeah, brace yourselves because there are some pretty exciting Macs that could be coming as soon as March. And so without further ado, let's just delve into this. Make sure to like and subscribe, click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So yes, why don't we start with the 16 inch MacBook Pro that I mentioned alongside the full port 13 inch MacBook Pro. So I have covered this possibility in the past, but essentially Mark Gurman told us that the 16 inch MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon should have launched at the Mac event we had in November of 2020. But for whatever reason, Apple didn't release the 16 inch MacBook Pro then, possibly due to production delays, as Mark Gurman did mention in that report that the 16 inch model was behind in production compared to the 13 inch models that we saw in November. And so possibly because of that delay, they've pushed the release from, of course, the initial November timeline to now March, 2021. And to add to this, we have probably one of the most OG Apple leakers on the scene, Sonny Dixon. He claims there is also a possibility that we could see a 16 inch MacBook Pro. And so yes, it seems very likely to me that Apple could launch that at this upcoming March event. But I do want to say one thing, and that is this 16 inch refresh might not be the refresh that a lot of you guys are hoping for. So personally, what I think Apple's going to be releasing in March is essentially the Apple Silicon refresh we saw with the 2020 models. So essentially everything, and I mean every single aspect of the MacBook Pro should stay identical with the current model, except the chip. So yes, not the most exciting upgrade in the world, but hopefully the more exciting aspect of this first generation Apple Silicon 16 inch MacBook Pro should be that chip. So we heard from Jiroku a while back that Apple would be launching the M1X in this MacBook Pro. And basically the M1X is gonna be based on the M1 as the name suggests, but because it's a slightly altered version, you're gonna have eight power cores and for efficiency cores. Now in terms of a dedicated GPU like we have on the current model, we haven't heard much. And so maybe they're giving us an integrated GPU for now, and maybe in the future, they'll debut their true successors to the AMD dedicated GPUs in the current model. Also, most importantly for, I guess, pro users who might want to buy the 16 inch model, you're gonna be getting more IO. And so four ports should be remaining on this new version of the 16 inch MacBook Pro. But apart from that, I think this is gonna be identical to the current model, so no redesign, no mini LED, it should be pretty much the same computer, except of course, the M1X and the benefits of Apple Silicon. Though personally, I think the redesigns that we're all waiting for might happen later in the year. So I think Apple's gonna have some sort of dedicated Mac event and there they launch the 16 inch and 14 inch redesigned mini LED, possibly face ID enabled MacBook Pros. But I feel like those upgrades are kind of too big for Apple to release so early into the year. And also we've heard that Apple's having issues with their suppliers and mini LED. And so maybe because of that, there could be a delay in releasing these. And so yes, I think end of the year for the mini LED refresh, that seems to make a lot of sense. And for the interim period we're in right now, just give us the same machine, 
but with of course the new chip. Now to those thinking that hey, Apple would never release two MacBook Pros in the same year, you're wrong, we saw that in 2018 with the 15 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro. There was a six month gap between those releases and the 16 inch MacBook Pro was a huge, huge upgrade. So I can see Apple doing something similar this year with the new versions of the Apple Silicon MacBooks. But I do think a potential con with the redesign could be a price hike. So in the past, Apple, when it comes to redesigns, that kind of justifies to them that, hey, we can ask for more money. And so I think that's going to be happening this year because, of course, with the redesign, we're going to be seeing Mini LED and Face ID, two big features for the Mac. And so that, in a way, could justify the price going up by maybe 100 200 or maybe even $300 more. Quick note, I take back what I said. I don't think the price is going up by $300. That's insane. I don't know what I was thinking. I think realistically we can expect $100 or maybe $150 more for these redesigns. And so yes, in a way Apple is releasing this final refresh of this design with Apple Silicon as a way to brace ourselves for the price hike that is happening very soon. And so when that model goes on sale, at least we'll have this as an alternative, I guess. I can see Apple keeping these models around as a lower end option. And so yes, I think this does make a lot of sense. And amongst all of this mess, we should also expect the four ports 13 inch MacBook Pro we have right now to get some sort of Apple Silicon upgrade. So Joku claims we should see an M1X or maybe an altered version of the M1 that supports four ports. And so yes, it's going to be a pretty minor upgrade. I guess in a way it just kind of unifies the lineup because right now Apple sells a low-end M1 MacBook and of course a high-end four-port Intel MacBook Pro. And so yes, it is very, very confusing and this would kind of sort that out, which of course would make things way less confusing for consumers. And of course, I would expect a similar upgrade pattern to happen to that model. So expect the 14 inch mini LED redesigned MacBook Pros to launch at the end of the year alongside the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So I would expect two refreshes to the MacBook Pro lineup in 2021. Anyways, that is what I think is most likely because of course, right now it's kind of a mess with some versions having Intel and some versions having Apple Silicon. And so if Apple could sort that out for the time being and just give every model Apple Silicon, then of course, as I said, that would be less confusing to consumers and it won't restrict people from having certain options because right now some people want the M1 power with more IO. And so the 16 inch and four port 13 inch MacBook Pro should sort that out and everyone will be very happy. Anywho, let's now move on to the next Mac that I think is most likely to launch at this potential March event, and that is the 10 gig Mac Mini. So yes, I know some of you might wonder, we just saw an M1 Mac Mini, so why would Apple release another version this soon? Well, the M1 machine that we have right now isn't really for professional use. It's more of a consumer-based device. It's for average Joes out there. And so that's why Apple dropped supports for key professional features like, of course, more I.O. and 10 gig Ethernet support. And you might notice that Apple sells the highest end version of the 2018 Intel Mac Mini, which suggests to me that a replacement for that is imminent. And so we could see that in March of 2021. And to add to this, we've seen evidence of M1 Mac Mini logic boards with 10 gig Ethernet support show up in service part lists and apparently it's under the category ASAP, which means get it out as soon as bloody possible. And so that suggests to me that we could see this at March. And also, like I said, Apple's March events usually cover the minor upgrades. And so Apple giving us an M1 or M1X Mac Mini with more IO and of course 10 gig Ethernet support it's pretty minor, it's not the most exciting thing, and so this seems ideal to be released and announced at this potential March event. Oh, also, very important news, this Mac Mini should be coming in space grey because technically it's the pro version, so yeah, there's that. If you wanted your Mac Mini in space grey, you don't have to spray paint the M1 version, you will have a space grey version with Apple Silicon very, very soon. So yeah, these are the Macs I think we could see at the March event. And of course, like I said, because these are minor refreshes, I think it is very plausible because Apple's not changing the design. They're not changing the display. 
they're pretty much leaving the computers 99% the same, it's just the new chip and some of the benefits like additional battery life and of course the boost in performance that is the huge upgrade. Anyways that concludes my predictions but tell me in the comments below which Mac do you think is most likely to debut at this upcoming March event. Personally I think that 16 inch MacBook Pro with an M1X chip that seems the most likely to me. But anyways I'm gonna end it here for today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video here in the iCloud above about some CAD renders of the upcoming iPad Pro. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.